It's Friday! And I'm happy. And I'm happy because I got my car back inside, you know, I get to play with it. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what I've been doing, what I've done, like always. Got the door on. Got the roof back on. Actually, we tore it. We made a skin for it. We made a pattern for it. I liked it and I didn't like it. What I did is I tore it back off and I made this railing higher. I wanted this one higher. So I cut this one back off and, and heightened it probably three quarters of an inch, an inch or three quarters of an inch. And on the front we added the wood on because we want the side of the, the roof to come down like that. So we had to know. What I've got is a piece of angle iron sitting right on top of the square tubing for the window. I've got the window all ground down there in the front. You know, like I say, when I built that weld on there, it gave me, it gave me lots to grind off. It was good. Got the door hinged on. That's a big... That's a big, you know, that's big, the door hinged on. That was a pretty simple thing, too. What I done was, what I done was, I looked at buying hinges, and I looked like taking hinges off old cars. But when you took the hinges off the old cars, it was so much, so much work, and they're snowed in and all that sort of stuff, and I wasn't doing that, and not a chance. So what I did, I need another one of those, look at that now, would you? What I did is I went down to the home hardware store and bought these for $4 or $3. Or $3. And I cut them off, and I made them work. That's what I did. Uh, they worked just fine. You know, I welded them on. I don't care. If I want to change anything, I'll just take the pin out and pull the door off. If I ever want to pull the door off, I'll just take the pin off. So they're always adjusting. Got the door on. I made this piece at the bottom of the, of the wheel well here. That was rotten on the outside. I'll just, I got a piece over here, what it looked like. What I cut off. I was going to leave it, but I, I just couldn't. It was just too, you know, it was kind of jagged and had, you know, fixed along the bottom there. And what the hay, like, you know? Why not fix it? I'm here, I got the winter, the winter off doing my own thing. So, what I did is I made a paper pattern of that and I put it in the bead roller, put the lines in it, made this into a 90. I just want to show you, I guess, why it's Friday video, I'll just show you how I would have done that. This here also, this back piece, I made this back piece, it was all rotten up in here, and that was all gone. Um, I could have made a little tiny piece and put it in there, and um, tried to weld it up and all that sort of stuff, but what I did is I just made a little piece go around here. Then I took a coat hanger, coat hanger, and I welded metal on that, filled that all in, ground it down to look like that. I can take it down even further if I want to, but I want to leave lots of meat there. I didn't want to make a piece and spend a lot of time. So I've got that done. i got the door swinging. i got the window ground. I changed the roof. I also chopped the windshield another inch. Just another inch to make things look better. i got it right on the money as far as I'm concerned. My car, I cry if I want to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So i got this done. i got this back piece welded in. i even got this piece welded on the bottom here and come up into my floor. And as you can see... It's just, you know, I make it as, you know, the way I want to do it. This car is pretty simple, if you look at it. This is square tubing along here. This is just wooden floor. That's just square tubing that runs along that wheel. I don't know if that is, but this square tubing that runs along there. And I welded it to the wheel well where it was in good shape. And then I set that on my chassis and you know, I make my mount from there. Because everything else was gone, if you can understand... The whole skeleton of the, of the body of the car is made of a square tube. So now we're on the other side. I got this cor side corner figured out. Put this all figured out. Put a piece in there. Cap that on the bottom way it should be. This is the frame that I added on because this was a tractor. Jitney was cut off up there. I made this piece here. I just drew that on a piece of metal and welded a 3 16 uh, plate on the top. Just like it was before when I get the body off, I'll be able to do the chassis. Sometimes I often wonder why I fix stuff like this, but what else would I be doing? You know, like, I don't know anything else to do, you know, so this is where I'm at. Just before I get this going, I just wanted to show you, I took a paper pattern. This is the square tubing that I weld my wheel weld to. This is square tubing, and I went right in the middle of it, so when I weld this piece on, it's on the middle of that square tubing, so when you look underneath the car, you can't see where it's ever been fixed. You'll ne you would never know where it's been fixed. So this is the paper pattern in here that goes on there like so. That's where I got it from. Transferred onto a piece of metal. This is my piece that I cut off. Just like that. I got cut off there. I cut that off. Now all I want to do is put, put my lines on my metal to match up with this. My dolly isn't exactly the same as that. But you know what? 
I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it anyways, you know? So anyways, but this is what I'm doing. This is what I got. I got my piece of metal on here. I made it fit. Right up underneath there like that. And I just marked that, put, took a, I took a ruler and I marked either side of it and I know where it's at. Then I just transfer the lines to the other side and I'll put it to the bead roller and put my lines in it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Jolene's gonna help me. Sparkles is gonna help me today. Sparkles is sparkling today. Uh, and then, also, I bend a 90 on that edge. On this edge, I bend a 90 all the way along that. And I'll show you how to bend an edge on that corner. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, but I'll show you, just so you know and we both know. Let's put a couple of beads in this if we can there, baby. Um, I got her tightened down there. I don't know if you can roll the damn thing and do it at the same time or not, can you? I'll try. This is the face, we want the face out. So I want you to roll that if you can, baby. I just roll, roll there a little bit and see which way. Yeah. That's the way we go. Okay, go for it if you can. Yep. Look at that. She, she can use the, whoa, that's good. Let's roll her back out nice and slow. She can use the phone, the camera, and, and roll all the metal at the same time. Huh? I'm keeping her, I'm keeping her. Go for it, baby. Are you gonna go the other way, maybe? Oh, I'm off the line a little bit. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's Christmas. Santa don't care. That's another thing, too. When you're doing this sort of stuff. Slow up, baby. Can I go backwards? When you're doing this sort of stuff, if I mess up a little bit, if I do something wrong, it's not a big deal, you know? It's not really, it's not really a big deal to me to, to mess up. Um, it doesn't hurt my feelings. And I'm gonna go the other way, baby. It doesn't hurt my feelings. And that allows me to get stuff done if I'm not so, everything doesn't have to be perfect. Let's face it. Keep going, baby, keep going. Keep going, there you go. That's good. And I'm gonna wind that one out because I don't wanna cut the wrong one. So that's as simple as that, how I put them lines in there. Simple as that. So that would be taken over here. And they don't, like I remember I said, they don't match up exactly because I haven't got the exact same die, you know. I'm not going to make a set of dies to put this on, but I can make that shape, you know, close. No, 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 just like that. That'll be welded on there just like that. Gives me this one, that one, and that one. Now I got the 90 to go under. I want to show you how easy that is. You know, you think that's just a paper pattern. That's just a piece of paper. Transfer to a piece of metal. I showed you how to put the, the lines in it, so there's no big, no big thing going on right now, so everybody can follow me, I hope. Uh, I need a hammer. Everybody can follow me, I hope. I'm gonna get a hammer. What I do, I have this piece of eye beam. And I got a piece of tape here on the back side. I know I want a three quarter inch. I just use I use tape because I know I want a three quarter inch lip all the way along this panel to go on the inside. So if you ever picked it up or felt it, it would feel like the real panel. You know what I mean? I don't want to leave just a straight piece of metal. Also, when I flip this over, there's a couple ways I could do it. I could take a pair of plotters here right this second. But I can take a pair of pliers or vice grips and I can bend that all the way up and then hammer and dolly it. I can do that. But it's, it find, I find it puts a lot of marks and grooves in it, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you exactly what I mean. I just, that way, this way here you'll know. If I show you, you'll, if I show you, you'll know. You can take a pair of these and bend it and then dolly it all out, take a dolly and hammer and dolly it all out. When you, when you bend this over, it'll, it'll go all crooked on you. Because you're bending this edge over, and it's, and it's round here, and you bend this edge over, it's round, it'll go all wonky on you. And, you. and you'll think you have ruined it or done something wrong, but no. It has got more metal than you need. So what happens is, I just take it over to my shredder stretcher and straighten it back out again. So what I'm making is a three-quarter inch lip on this. 
I'm going to bend it over here how I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. When I get to these corners, it's going to act all funny and stuff. We'll dolly it. I'll show you how I dolly with a hammer. But when it's crooked, all I have to do is put that half inch into the stringer stretcher and I can straighten it back out again. If you know what I'm saying. But I'm going to show you here, just like this. I'm going to show you, and I put this tape on here, so when I look underneath this piece here, when I look underneath here, this, this I-beam, and I go to hit it, I can see my tape. I know that that's my line. And that's what I'm going to do. Something like this. Something like this. In all honesty, like hour and a half, two hours. You should be able to somebody should be able to make that and put that in there. That's my opinion. And I don't want my opinion stands for it. That's just my opinion. You know? Couple hours. And I know where this is bending it because I'm looking behind. I'm seeing the tape. But don't look right, don't hit it. That makes sense, doesn't it? Huh? But don't look right, don't hit it. Be nice to bend it on the brake, but it's not that shape. God love her. God love her. You do I do? Huh? I love you, baby. I tell you that thing yet? I love you. I love you. Got it halfway there. I haven't got it beat up too bad. Too bad, you know what I mean? I'm hitting it on the edge. But where you take them pliers to it sometimes, or what I call breaking the edge, you, um, sometimes you ruin it. Or not ruin it, you just put a lot of marks in it that you don't want. Also, I'm just using this dolly because I got it on the floor here. Also, I've come to realize, you know, I never realized all this time, you don't have to have the dolly right behind where you hit. It doesn't have to be where you hit. It can be right there, and I can hit up here. Just as long as you've got pressure against that mount. That's, that's all, that's mostly what a, you know, somewhat what a dolly is. You cannot, we got coming. Anyways, when you, you cannot, um, uh, what can I say? Yeah. A dolly, you do not have to have the dolly right behind the metal to make it work. You just have to have it there to hold pressure on it. I'm just going to show you as I go along here.
I bet that edge over. I haven't made it too bad. I haven't put a lot of dents in it. But I'm going to show you something real quick. I'll take this tape off. How you doing, Derek? Not too bad. I'm just going to take this tape off real quick. That was just a guide line the tape. No biggie. Any other time it would fall off, but this time we're going to take it off. Hmm. So, holds it together. I want to straighten this out, and I don't even think I have to use that. You know that? I don't even have to use that. Most gently, I would try to straighten it out. What I would do is put this lip here. If it's crooked, if it goes, if it goes this way, if it's, you know, I'm going this way. I'd have to put the stretcher in, bring it down, and pull the metal apart, which would make it go this way. If I needed to go this way, I put the shrinker in, step on it, it pulls the metal together, makes it go this way. But this panel was pretty straight. You know, this line. All I have to do is cut this line straight with a zip cut. Leave myself three quarters of an inch and I got a really nice panel right there. It's in a little bit, but that's fine. So, if they go to the other side, there might be a little more hammering, I don't know, or whatever. You can kind of take a look. That's how that fits. I will weld, I will butt weld this together here. I will cut that off a little bit and then I will weld right along in the middle of this. Put them all together. And then you will never know what either side has been welded or not because it's on that square tubing. I'll cut this back a little bit and fix that. Have a good Friday! And that's how easy it was. There's nothing major about that panel. Nothing. Um, it went fairly quick. This stuff here is just a little more dolly and a little more plain. Just tap, tap, tap. The dolly does not have to be behind the hammer. The dolly has to be on the metal. Just to hold the metal, not to doesn't have to be right directly behind it so it makes it perfectly round. You just have to have the dolly hold the metal while you hit it so it don't go wow, wow, you know. Happy Friday. Have a Merry Christmas. If you want to donate some money, go to Jake's house. Charity, that's who we're supporting. Merry Christmas, everybody.